we're going to be doing a series of mind training exercises to help the students and their parents uh, find a bit of calm and peace in their lives. So mindfulness is a way to bring our attention into the present moment. And through bringing our attention into the present moment, we can start to let go of the stress from the past and also the anxiety about the future. So all the practices today uh, will give them a taster of what it's like to practice. And we're going to do a, maybe four or five different trainings. And I'm going to give a little bit of a background about myself, just to put some context of where I learned about these trainings. And then a little bit of background about mindfulness in general. And then we'll go through a series of practices. But when I first, I first came across mindfulness uh, when I was 18. I traveled to Nepal and studied uh, in, a, in a Buddhist monastery there. And um, straight away, it helped me to be happier, feel more fulfilled, have less stress, have kind of a mental tool to be able to deal with the challenges of human life. Sometimes the impact can be immediate, you know, you get people coming like the classes and you see maybe they feel better in themselves, they're lifted out of some difficult period of time they're going through, they're, because their minds are more peaceful and calm, their relationships with their spouse or their co-workers uh, is better. Uh, so often their physical health improves as well, because when you're happier, and more present, you know, your immune system is stronger and you find yourself with more energy. People from all walks of life, uh, all faiths, can practice it. I mean, really, being mindful is about living in the moment. You know? And a lot of people are mindful without realizing they're being mindful. For example, my grandfather used to uh, really enjoy washing up <laughs> you know I'll read. and um, why because he did it very slowly and very mindfully and he, but he wasn't saying I'm gonna be mindful now he was just conscious that to get to transform a seemingly uh, unpleasant chore into a pleasant activity just simply focus on it and bring your attention into that so something just as simple as washing up I think young people have some degree of mindfulness anyway. So when they come to a workshop like this, it's just tapping into what they already have and um, giving them some tools so at points during their life uh, they can remember a practice that can help them to become more focused and concentrated rather than being overwhelmed by the situation, being able to put the situation in perspective. So it can help, you know, with exam stress and stress with friends and so on. But the, the most important thing is to do it gently and uh, for short periods of time. So it starts to become a natural activity. You know, to bring it into children's lives, one of the main things is that uh, teachers in schools and parents are practicing. That's essential, really, to see the example. Being in the present and not denying or pushing away those thoughts, yeah. um, acknowledging them, but understanding that you don't have to be controlled by them. Who wants to live in the past? I mean, if we want to move forward into a positive future, you know, and really fulfill our potential, uh, then we need to let go of the past. And that's not an intellectual thing. Letting go of the past, mindfulness helps to let go of the past simply by turning up to the present moment. You sort of mean, so it's not really something to work out. You don't need to work anything out. It's just whatever it is you're doing, focus on it. 